stars. The Beverly Hillbillies. attention to what Granny's singing, Turkey. Where'd you go? Hey, Turkey, Turkey. Hey, Turkey, Turkey, don't be scared. Granny don't mean no harm. See, I brought you some nice stuff. And I'll, I mean bread. Is she fixing gravy, too? Billy boy, Billy boy. Fixing giblet gravy, too, for Thanksgiving. Yes, she's fixing gravy, too, like her mama used to do. She's a young thing and cannot leave her mother. Can she make a pumpkin pie, Billy? Hold on, Ellie. Oh, morning, Pa. What you got there? Oh, this here's a raccoon named Valmer. Hey, Elmer. Hey, Yes, sir, Pa. I know that's a raccoon named Elmer. What you got in the sack? What sack? Sack you told Sack I'm told Yeah, the sack that turkey just stuck his head out of. Don't just stay out of sight. Hey, come here. Yes, sir, Pa. Ellie Mae, I told you not to go friendly enough with that turkey bird so close before Thanksgiving. Well, it wasn't me, Pa. It was Elmer here. Was it Elmer chucked him in that sack? Well, he didn't do it alone. I kind of helped him. <laughs> kind of helped him take him out and put him back in his pen. Mr. Drysdale will give us that bird for a meal, not a pen. He's awful smart, Pa, and friendly, too. Well, I learned him to shake hands. Well, Ellie, he ain't likely to be going into politics. <laughs> I'll just take him out of the sack, and he can shake hands with you. I don't want to shake his hand. What's going to happen to him is bad enough without him thinking a friend done it to him. <laughs> Come back and leave him be. Yes, sir, Paul. Come on, Elmer. Let's put Paul Herman back in the pen. Herman. I declare, Duke, if Mr. Drysdale give us a string of weenies, that girl make pets out of him. <laughs> Ted, can I borrow that old hound dog for a minute? Well, sure, Granny. What for? The turkey got away, and I want old Duke to sniff out his trail. Oh, you don't need old Duke, Granny. Yes, I do, Jed. My nose ain't what it used to be. <laughs> it was Ellie let Herman out, uh, the turkey. Herman? Don't tell me she's making a pet out of our Thanksgiving riddles, is she? No, no, she's putting him back. Well, that's better. It's been a whole year since the guys they'll sat down at the table with us, and we got to put on the dog. <laughs> well, don't worry, Duke. When folks says they're putting on a dog, it just means they're doing things fancy. Yeah, Duke. Like dressing up in your Sunday go to meeting best and having vittles in the fancy eating room. That reminds me, I told Jethro to put the company chairs around the fancy eating table. Let's go and see how he's doing. Didn't aim to scare you, Duke. Come on now. Get them worry wrinkles out of your head. <laughs> I thought folks has got to stick together. <laughs> Uncle Jed, Granny, Ellie, me, Mr. Drysdale, Mrs. Drysdale, Miss Jane. How's it coming, Jethro? Oh, well, fine, Uncle Jed. All right, doggy, there's one thing you got to say about the folks out here. They believe in building a good, strong eating table. 
Why, you could serve up a whole barbecued steer on this thing and not bow it down. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, you remember that little feller that came home from school with me the other day? Yeah. Well, he says this here room is what you call a billiard room. And this here table is what you call a billiard table. Hmm. And, and you know what I got figured out? Why? This here rascal must be what you call a billiard. <laughs> I always wondered what that critter was. Mean looking, ain't he? That's a fact. Judging from the size of his head, he must be monstrous big. I reckon that's why they had to build an extra strong table. You reckon we could shoot one of these sometime? We live around here in Beverly Hills? I reckon so. This little feller says his pa shoots billiards a couple nights a week. One of a night, do they? Yes, sir. I ain't so sure I'd want to run into him in the dark. Awful ugly, huh? Well, maybe that's one good thing about catching us a billiard. I don't reckon even Elliot'd want to make a pet out of him. <laughs> well, Granny, I'm ready for that gobbler. Oh, praise be. If we leave him around Ellie much longer, he'll be wanting dessert and coffee with his meals. <laughs> All right now, Herman. You ain't gonna let him scare you no more. Is it a deal? Atta boy. Now you do your best to make friends with everybody. <laughs> oh, uh, Hallie Mae, uh, would you do me a favor? Well, sure, Paul. Would you, uh, shinny up that uh, walnut tree out back there and uh, pick me a nice big sack of nuts? I sure will, Paul, and you can visit with Herman. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> oh, uh. Well, now, uh, Herman, uh, Mr. Gobbler, I reckon the quicker we get this over with, the better. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't usually refuse a hand offered in friendship, but in this case, I just got a feeling it wouldn't be lasting. <laughs> uh, no hard feelings. I, I got nothing against you. You're, as turkeys go, I reckon you're right up there with the best. But uh, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't look at me like that. Oh, what's the use? I can't do it. <laughs> we just gotta shoot us one of them billiards for Thanksgiving. <laughs> right there is what you call a Beverly Hills billiard. I don't care what you call it. I ain't gonna cook it. Uh, Granny, the folks that live here for us must have found them pretty tasty. This here table was built just special for billiards. I don't care. Anything that looks that mean got to taste mean. Besides, it's too big to cook. I could dig you a barbecue pit out back. No, sir. Mr. Drysdale give us a turkey. And I got the stuffing made. And by deeds. I want that turkey cleaned and dressed and no more foolishness. I'm sorry, Granny, I just can't do it. Maybe Jethro can. He ain't got acquainted with Herman like I have. <laughs> do what, Granny? Clean and dress a turkey. Can you do it? I reckon so. Well, get at it. It's back of the kitchen in that pen. Yes, ma'am. I declare, I never thought I'd see the day that Jed Clampett was scared to kill a turkey. Heaven help him if he ever meets up with a billiard. <laughs> hey, Granny, I got the turkey all clean to dress. Catch you me and I'm ready. Yes. Turkey. Well, I did the best I could. I didn't have no clothes that would fit them. I borrowed them clothes from a little fella down the street. I think he's kind of cute myself. So does he. He even shook my hand. Well, howdy there, Miss Jean. Greetings, Mr. Clampett. I wonder if I might borrow one of Granny's ancient outdoor cooking pots. Well, you bet you can. But ain't you taking Thanksgiving vittles with us? Oh, yes, indeed. I merely wanted to borrow the venerable vessel as a photographic prop. You see, Mr. and Mrs. Drysdale are posing as Governor and Mrs. Bradford. 
in a recreation of the first Thanksgiving some 342 years ago, when the Algonquin Squanto in Massasoit befriended the beleaguered pilgrims and so made it possible to perpetuate the Plymouth colony and bring into being what is now one of the most important holidays in the American calendar. What was it you wanted again? Hot. Oh, yeah, I'll bet you right out. you are. So sorry for the delay. Miss Hathaway is out getting a kettle, and Mr. Drysdale doesn't have his costume on as yet. Uh, pale face squaw, descendant of pilgrim. Red brother bring turkey for feast. Uh, me grateful to red brother. <laughs> Milburn, hurry! What was she talking about? As near as I can figure, she's got a brother who's a communist. <laughs> what nation are you from? You from Mohican? Uh, Kennebec? Algonquin? Where are you from? Central Casting. <laughs> Now you go and take the hair off of that gobbler. I just can't do that to a critter that keeps wanting to shake my hand. What is the matter with you? Why, back home you used to bring home a great big gobbler every Thanksgiving. Yeah, but they was wild turkeys that the hunting shot out in the woods. They had a sporting chance. Well, then you take iron out and turn it loose in the woods and hunt it. Dingus, I think you've got an idea there. I hope so. When the Drysdale come to eat, they want to see that bird sitting on the table, not at it. I'm so sorry to keep noble chiefs waiting. Husband not in costume yet. If Indian thirsty, pale face squaw, be happy, bring refreshment. Crazy, I'll have a beer. Make mine a dry martini. <laughs> Indian what? Fire water? Very dry. Ten fire water to one vermouth. <laughs> hey, where y'all go with Herman? Oh, uh, Jethro and me is taking him out in the woods to go hunting. Oh, good, he'll like that. Hey, you want to go hunting with us, Ellie? I brought Granny's shotgun. Well, no, uh, Ellie can't do that. She's got to take them walnuts into her granny. And then she's got to go find her granny some hickory nuts. Where, Pa? I ain't seen a single hickory tree on this whole place. Well, uh, why don't you try over to the dry day? They might just have one. Yes, sir. Why, they ain't gotten in the hick... Hurry with the hickory nuts. Uh, drive on, Jethro. Bye, Ellie. Bye. Have a good time, Herman. <laughs> there. We're going to have a very authentic reproduction of the first Thanksgiving. Massasoit, and you are Squanto. Uh, no, lady. That's the clown that rides around with the Lone Ranger. <laughs> oh, hi ho! <laughs> no, I, I won't do it. Please, I won't. Please, Milburn. Not have my picture taken in this ridiculous getup. But it'll be in the society section tomorrow. Oh no, it won't. Please, Redskin, help Pale Face Squaw. Pale Face Squaw, speak with forked tongue. Don't bring Redskin fire water! Out, Miss Hathaway, quickly. One beer and one fire water. I mean, uh, dry martini. I, I could use one of those myself. Grab him! No, 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 no. Oh, oh Gilbert, I'll, I'll fix you a drink myself. I just don't want you disappearing again. Let go of me! Sorry, mister. I... You know pose, we no get paid. Oh, no, no, no. oh still. <laughs>
You'll sell our scalps dear. Come on, child, but protect your hair. <laughs> kind of dope. Custer's last stand. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I met my chief, Mr. Drysdale. <laughs> now then, everyone, smile. Smile. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Goodbye, all. Wait, Milburn. The next is the most important picture of all. We have the Indians give us the turkey. Oh, Margaret. I shall reload the camera while you get the bird. <laughs> Where is the turkey? It was in a crate right over there. Well, that's the one you mean I gave to the clambers. You what? Well, they did invite us over for Thanksgiving dinner. It seemed the least I could do. I am not eating with those dreadful people. Then I am not posing for these dreadful pictures. <laughs> Please, Milburn, go get the turkey back. Oh, they'll think I'm an Indian giver. <laughs> no offense, Bella. <laughs> Get it. Oh, no. I'm not going to have you insulting them. Look, tell us where the turkey is and we'll get it. At the Clampets. Right through that hedge. Right through there? Come on, friend. Right through there. Oh, tell them you just want to borrow it. They can have it back. There's two of them coming through the hedge. They ain't toting guns. We'll hide and ambush them. Remember now, don't let them grab your hair. <laughs> Face Granny. She's gonna be powerful mad. Yeah, but Ellie's gonna be powerful happy. With Herman, that's two happies to one mad. I'm kinda happy myself. So am I, Jethro. Well, let's get him around the back. You fetch the gun. Come on, Herman. <laughs> Outside of a politician, I ain't never seen any critter so all fired anxious to shake a man's hand. <laughs> Keep a sharp look out, Ellie. Them redskins is tricky rascals. Yes, I'm Granny. <laughs> Keep quiet, you. Don't you try to signal the rest of your tribe. <laughs> hey, now. You hear stealing varmint? <laughs> Granny, I hear something. It's a turkey gobble. There it is again. Don't let it fool you, child. That's an old Indian trick. He's sneaking up to attack. Okay, John comes Pa and Jethro with the gun. We shame. We shame, Daddy. We shame. We shame. We shame. We shame. Oh, quick, let him in before they get an arrow in the back. Now you're going to get it, you red devils. Granny, what determination you got here? Some bloodthirsty savages, that's what we got here. And don't you never go off and leave us without any firearms, unless you want to come home and find a couple of bald-headed women. Yeah, they tried to scalp us, and we jumped them first. Well, how in the world could there be wild Indians in Beverly Hills? Any place that can have them honorary-looking billiards can have Indians. <laughs> the next time you get me a job like this, I want stuntman pay. <laughs> I reckon you better stay till my Uncle Jed says you can go. <laughs> oh, they is me. Anybody understand engine talk? <laughs> Here, have a slug of Granny's rheumatism medicine. Thank you. Get the kinks out of your joints. Yeah. So, here you are, lollygagging while we are waiting. And you, always after the fire water, will never work for me again. If I do, I'll want to read the script first. <laughs> me. me. <laughs> well, shame on you. Now, I warned you not to come over here and insult these people. 
I'm not insulting anybody. I'm being insulted. Oh, the Lord. What are you keeping everybody? The turkey's right outside. Don't you dare touch Herman. Who's Herman? To me, that Thanksgiving is a mighty poor time for folks to be yelling and arguing at one another. I realize we got a whole heap of misunderstandings to sort out, and I think we all ought to sit down and start sorting them out. Granny, this is mighty fine Thanksgiving vittles. Best tasting fish I ever had. What do you say is this called again, Chief? You built a fish. My mother fixed it. I think you and the insurer do know how to cook. That's a fact, Granny. That there chicken soup was the best ever. Everything is delicious. Marvelous dinner. Delightful. Herman and me sure like it, don't we, Herman? <laughs> By the way, Mr. Clampett, do you know you're eating on a billiard table? Yes, sir, I do. And next year, we are gonna have us one of them rascals for Thanksgiving. I still say I ain't gonna cook it. This has been a Filmways presentation.